In this video, we will download the repository to our computer, edit the files on the computer, edit the website on the computer, and then preview those changes on the computer, which will be much faster than in the earlier videos, previewing the changes online. And then when we are happy with the changes, we will re-upload the files or the file we changed to the online repository so that everything is uh, kind of like published when it comes to our changes. Okay. There are two main ways to download the website to the computer. One of them is the cloning and the other one is the downloading. Okay, the cloning, this, this is the button that uh, could be or will be used later needs an app, the GitHub desktop app, which we will look into in another video, next one perhaps. Uh, the download zip is simpler, which is the one I'll demonstrate now. So download zip. Okay, so it should be in my downloads folder. There we go. Okay, so exactly the same files as the ones in the repository. Okay, now quickly to demonstrate something here uh, if i preview i can actually close this i think if i preview the website this is the online website the the published version the one um, in the online repository everything looks fine as before when i view when i open the website the one that i have downloaded exactly the same file as the one online then there is an issue. The issue is that the foreign characters are not displayed well. Okay, the Hungarian German ones were not displayed well, and here the Chinese ones are not displayed well either. Now this has something to do with the character set being limited, and to be perfectly honest i don't know why there is this issue because when i look at the source code of the online version and the source code of the local version the one on the computer which i wouldn't even need to look into because i know what's in it because i edited it in the previous videos then they are exactly the same so why the online version can pull in a um, can display all the characters and the local host one cannot. I am not entirely sure, but uh, maybe someone can tell me. For example, if I preview this file with the preview of the finder, look, everything is fine. Well, I can't click on the links, but everything is fine when it comes to these characters. But when I preview it in Safari, it's... Uh, Anyway, I know how to sort it out and let's focus on that. Okay, so I close the online version. I keep the localhost version up there. Now what we need is we need to edit this file. Okay, so I have a few software installed that we can edit this file, but if you haven't done any kind of, I guess, programming or, or, or something like that before, then you might not have a a text editor that can see everything in the file, the source code of the file. Uh, if you opened this index.html file with something like Word, then you might not see everything, right? If, for example, we open it with text edit, which maybe should see everything, then I still, uh, I, I see that there is something wrong with the characters, even the logo is pulled in but I can't see the metadata, so I can't see where the head is, and I can't see where the body is, and I can't see the style either. So the text editor I use, or I've been using for a while, is Atom. Um, this is the one we will be using um, for a while, I guess. The software can be found if I just type in Atom to Google. Oh, what's happening? Come on. Okay, so it's atom.io. And you could just simply download it. I already downloaded so that you don't need to 
waste time with that. You could perhaps experiment with atom outer natives, and of course you have to find something that uh, that works on your operation system. So I think atom works on Windows too, but there are many uh, good ones. So, oops, this website is down. Anyway, uh, Sublime Text is good. But I think you might have to pay for it after a while. Brackets I used was good. And uh, one of them is called BB Edit, which is quite good too. Uh, anyway, you might find something you like, but let's just go back to Atom here. Okay, so if I open up this app. Okay, now I can... This is probably not what you will see. I uh, If you open it up the first time, the repository will not be in your projects sidebar but it might ask you whether you want to uh, install the git command line developer tools which we will do later but not now so we could just simply cancel it and then i just quit all these windows maybe i even remove this project folder and add it back so if you close all the windows then this is something that you should see then I go to my downloads and then drag and drop this whole folder onto Atom. If I drag it in the sidebar, then it will definitely be there. I think in this case, I could have just dropped it in the middle too. Anyway, so the folder structure in the sidebar on the projects is the same as the one you see in uh, Finder or your file manager. I make it a bit narrower. Okay, so in this editor now I can see the source code in the same way I saw it. Oops, in the in the online GitHub repository editing mode. Okay, I can also do some kind of soft wrapping. I need to make sure the file is um, selected, and then go to View Soft Wrap, and then I will be able to see the whole file. Now the thing we need to do, the thing we need to do, the thing we need to do to see the characters is, let's just go back to Safari and type in HTML character set. Okay, so this is the one I checked before. So W3 schools, let me go back, although you could pause the video. Uh, hdw3schools.com uh, which page is it it's quite long so just search for it on google i guess this page explains in an, a very short way that there are different character sets and some are more limited than others the one i tested with this website is this something is this uh character set called utf-8 and as it says up here this covers almost all of the characters and symbols in the world, so that should be enough for a Hungarian, German, Chinese, English website. Okay, so I copy this on the clipboard. I can close this. And remember, this is still a local host version, the one on the computer of the website. I go back to Atom and then add this one line in the head and save the file. So remember if the file is not saved and you see this blue dot on the top and uh, once it's saved then you you don't see it anymore let's go back to safari and then now if i refresh the page okay hooray they are now displayed properly okay when it comes to the chinese version and the hungarian version they are still not displayed properly because we need to edit those files as well so this might still be my Oops, save, save. Okay, now if I go back to Safari, what's all that stuff down there? Okay, so refresh, Hungarian is fine, Chinese is fine, English is fine. Okay, so this is how you sort out, I guess, most of these issues when it comes to character set limitations. Now let's just go back to Atom a bit and do some editing. Okay, so I make this a tiny bit smaller. 
um, narrower and let's just edit one file so maybe I stick to the index HTML file the home page can I do that all right I can make this even narrower if I wanted to okay so let's make a few changes you change things in a very similar way in Atom as if it was another text editor you use the keyboard the mouse um, there are more advanced functions of course when it comes to editing because it is used by programmers mainly so you can uh, add variables you can uh, use different so-called packages kind of like add-ons which do interesting stuff for you uh, that you would do perhaps which do uh, things for you fast for example if you wanted to add I don't know how many characters to specific parts in the page then instead of doing them manually if you know how to do it with one package you could find that package and you could do it with one click okay so let's just do one change and then re-upload the file on the online repository what should that change be maybe I want to just add a, a video here we don't have a video so let's just go to um, Uh, that wouldn't be a translation example so why don't we just say we copy all of this so details is under the unorganized list so this one all of this and we highlight it copy it on the clipboard and paste it again so it should appear twice now let's refresh okay see we can see the change we can see the change we made in the source code instantly when it comes to previewing the changes not like before when we were previewing the changes on the live published version which could take sometimes half a minute anyway so maybe I just want to change this to interpreting example and then I just saved it again okay this has changed as well so we might not need the table so I delete all the table and maybe this one too as well more examples PDF so oops I might have deleted more than I wanted okay you can undo of course so I delete the table I can make a space here sorry I need to delete I wanted to delete this one too okay so if I refresh the page okay you can see there is nothing in there so what if I want to maybe embed a video where I'm talking so YouTube and okay so let's say it's me okay Christian Hofstadter and then that's me okay maybe this you usually go to oops you usually go to share and then find the embed code and then you could either highlight the whole um, code or just click on copy and then you go back here and paste these don't really add anything to the to the website I will know know that there aren't going to be any line breaks if you want line breaks then you have to use this br so maybe we just add that at the end so that there is a space i quit this and then refresh the page and then here i am wonderful so this is a very quick way of editing the source code and then previewing those changes on the uh, on the computer in the same browser now let's say we are happy with this change we can close this and we can close that we I just reopen browser again we go back to the github 
repository was this one and how many files did we change we changed all three right because we added the character set to all three as well as we did uh, a few changes when it comes to the uh, examples we added this interpreting example in the index file so it would be nice to upload all these files where is it downloads yeah okay so I can simply highlight these three files on the computer and then drag and drop on the repository all right so they are uploaded and then I commit to the change which will override these files okay so remember we didn't do any changes in the assets folder that's why it still says the last change was made five days ago the change the last change to the index files was made uh, now now remember if something goes wrong maybe it wasn't the change you wanted and uh, you don't know what to do you could always go into one of these files and look into its history where you have all the versions you saved before so if i click on the this one then i can see what changes i made here if i click on the last one I can see that the changes which were made was I added this character set and I also changed something in these details. So basically, I think I added one more of these details uh, element. Okay, but this is not what we really want here. Um, we just want to now preview the website, the online version. And okay, that was quite fast. We see the interpreting example on the English version we won't see it on the Chinese version right it's the only one here and we won't see it on the Hungarian version because we only made the change on the computer okay uh, one more thing before I go I guess or well, this video is finished that uh, we capped right so we have this uh, in, in each of these files we have this uh, element this meta character set element and it doesn't seem to upset anything when it comes to the online version, which was fine without this. By fine, I mean it displayed all the characters, the Hungarian, English, Chinese characters before as well. Which again, I don't know why, but hey, tell me if you know. Um, so let's just leave it in because you might want to download these files later to the computer and edit and uh, re-upload. Okay, so in this video we covered downloading the files on the computer, editing the files on the computer, previewing the website on the computer, and then uploading the, well, let's say the, the files we are happy with, or re-uploading them, the, the files uh, to the repository. And then again, from then on, you might have to wait a few more minutes and then you can check the published online version. And we also talked about the character set, which seems to be important when it comes to our website. All right, then I see you in the next video where we'll be cloning.